Great start to the 2016 year with the first Super Chase being the RV Bud. Now, this was previewed back in 2010, but did not get released until this year. And it's great to see a canceled car being released to add to our collection of RVs. And he's actually one of the last RVs to be released. The other remaining two being Sid Vanderkamper and Clayton Gentlebreeze. Now we don't know if we'll see those in the future as well, but since some of the other ones have been released, I think it is likely, but definitely not confirmed. Now this here is in 2016 Deluxe Case D. It has not hit stores yet. The only way you can purchase one is off eBay or Amazon. And now Amazon actually had this in stock for $6.99, but very, very, very briefly. I clicked on the link and it said there were 14 in stock and they sold in a second because most likely people will buy a lot of these because they want to have them for trade or if they're resellers they probably want to resell these on eBay for a higher price and that's just how it goes unfortunately but I was lucky enough to purchase two of these off eBay a while back so I'm very very happy to have these and hopefully you guys can add this to your collection as well it's one of my favorite super chases I think it actually might be my all-time favorite so now let's take a look here at the package of bud I absolutely love the art they gave him looks really cool Cool. It just kind of looks like a regular RV, but on the back of him, he has a very cool decal, which we'll get to later in the video. Of course, we have the Super Chase logo up here, Deluxe Cars Daredevil Garage app logo. Now, his background here is the Piston Cup background from the Motor Speedway of the South. He does not have any numbers as the Super Chases do not have numbers because they kind of make you keep guessing and how many Super Chases there will be that year. Now on the back here, we don't actually even see Bud. We see Larry Camper and Doug RM and some other RV in the back. Now, Bud here was shown just a few seconds before this clip. I believe he was over here basically, like so a little bit in front of these two and now only his back was shown. They wanted to show the back of him because that's where the iconic decal is. Now the description for the series is exclusive to Bud. It says Bud is a classy rig and longtime Piston Cup loyalist who's got a funny anecdote for every racer on the track. For just a few liters of Danica oil, he'll probably spill a secret or two. Very, very nice description. I'm glad that they made it unique for him. That's awesome. Now we see a little kind of phrase here that says, Super Chase vehicles are limited to no more than 4,000 units produced. Basically meaning there are only 4,000 of every Super Chase. Now is this necessarily true? We don't know, but I'm going to give Mattel the benefit of the doubt. Because 4,000, it's a pretty big number if you actually think about it. Now unfortunately, the back just shows the instructions on how to use the car's Daredevil Garage app logo and does not give us any insight to future Super Chases. However, just the other day we did learn of the next 2016 Super Chase, which is Mater with duct tape. Uh, definitely does not live up to this standard right here of Bud, but I guess you can't have that many nice things. But I'm definitely very happy with him. It kind of makes up for the lacking Super Chase that will be coming next. So I'll be right back with this Super Chase of the package. What a fantastic looking car and super heavy too. He is one of the heaviest cars that I ever have had. I mean, there might be a heavier car than him, but man, he is very heavy. The whole white part here is metal and man, he just looks fantastic, even though he's just a blank RV. Now, I just kinda wanna show you guys here that it does come with that antenna in the blister, so do not forget this. If you do, you'll probably be regretting that decision because 
you won't have the antenna. Now, it is very minor, but you definitely want to have it on butt here. So, there you go. I opened it up there out of the blister, and you just kind of have to slip it in one of his air vents up here. Definitely not that big of an accessory or anything, no flags or anything, but still pretty cool. And it just snaps in pretty easily. You just kind of want to get it level or something. Uh, Looks like it's taken a little bit of trouble here. I don't know. They have a two. You can see a two on there. I'm not sure what that's for. Doesn't really show you where it should be put in, but I think that's good enough. Very, very nice. I like the two little spokes right there. Looks very cool. And now before we actually get into a review of Bud and start comparing him to some other RVs, I want to talk about this right here. The Jackalope. How awesome. He's a completely white RV, but he has an extremely complex decal on the back. Now, this is of the Jackalope in the Pixar short Bounded back in around 2003. It was released. And I just kind of want to give you a summary about the short. I would totally show you guys a clip from Bounded, but I would most likely get a copyright strike and no one wants those. So instead, I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to watch it. So the summary of the short basically is there's this dancing sheep and it gets kind of down and disencouraged and then the jackalope here comes along and inspires him to keep doing what he loves to be doing and so the moral of the short is basically don't care what others think, just do what you love, no matter what anyone else thinks. So it's a very inspirational short, very, very cool, and I had not watched it until just a few weeks ago when this Bud RV here actually came out. Now, Bud Lucky is the actor, director, and he also has a huge part in the short as well. He does quite a few roles, and... Bud Lucky is obviously where this RV got its name. His name was Bud Lucky, and that's how the RV here got his name Bud. And that's why it is in quotations, I would assume, on the card. And Bud Lucky plays the Jackalope, along with the other characters. I believe he also plays the Sheep. And now, if you guys aren't aware, a Jackalope right here is a hybrid between a Jackrabbit and an Antelope. It's a completely mythical creature it's just kind of a creation doesn't really exist and now i want to mention this because this is actually pretty cool the person who did the cinematography of the short is jesse hollander that's right jesse hollander spelled h-o-l-l-a-n-d-r now of course if you aren't aware a car that's coming out very very soon is jesse hollander which is spelled h-a-u-l-l-a-n-d so there you go there's another employee that had a car named after it so that's basically the explanation of why this is on the back here it's just a cameo iconic appearance in the movie just kind of alluding to another pixar creation i absolutely Absolutely love when they do that, and especially when they release it on a diecast right here. So you can see the jackal right there, accurate to the movie, a very, very good high definition decal. And of course, we can see the tail lights right here, very detailed as well. They rise off the paint. You can see the exhaust pipe. The base is very, very large here, and we can see some of the decals. Of course, we have the basic stuff, date stamp all the way up here. Nothing really too exciting. The holes on him are really deep, though. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty insane how deep those are. Now, he does have these windows here you cannot see, and they're actually kind of different than some other windows that are on regular cars. He's got some yellow lights up here along with some red ones in the back. Now, on the top, he basically has what every other RV has, which is some air vents, and I would assume those are like windows. I really don't really know what they those are. I'm not too familiar with real-life RVs, but there is an example of another RV. This is actually Convoy Brother G. Not very similar to Bud at all here but i mean he's rather similar none of the rvs that we have are actually the same model so far they've kept them all unique which is awesome a plus the mattel for doing that because you know when you kind of it kind of gets boring when you see all these rvs that are the same model but yeah these ones are different as you can see the front is very different from being straight down to being kind of slanted right there. Now on the front, Bud's got a nice smiler. smile. We never actually saw his face in the movie, like I said, so it's kind of interesting to see it now. 
and he's got some lights above his eyes there, completely fat, flat eyelids, and he's got some lights up here that are very protruding. That's very nice that they did that, very well done. On either side, he also has these side view mirrors here as well, and that's basically it for Buddy. He also has these cool rims as well. I actually really like how they did that. They're very shiny, kind of look like chrome. Now, the RV that is most similar to Bud, in my opinion, is Convoy Brother I, but they are obviously both very different in other aspects as well, but they do have these kind of slanted, or not slanted, but straight down face here. And they're basically kind of the same size and shape, but Convoy Bro I is a smidge taller and a little bit thinner. They are basically the same length though. It's kind of hard to see because both of them are so big, but they are basically the same length. On the back here, we can kind of see the similar placement in taillights, but of course, Bud does not have a back window like the Convoy Brother does. The Convoy Bro also has a lot less detailing on the roof here. He does have those two flags, but he only has one air vent and two windows, I do presume, whereas Bud here has three air vents and four windows. If anyone does know what those actually are though, I'd really, really like to know. I'm not really sure about that. So that is basically all for Bud here. What an amazing release. I'm very happy about this. Now, unfortunately, they did make him a super chase, obviously making it harder for collectors to get him, but I mean, they gotta make it exciting at least. I mean, that's what the super chases are for. They're exciting releases. So if they just made all the super chases like duct tape made or road repair lightning McQueen or stuff like that, I mean, no one will buy them. It'd be boring. So that's, I guess, why they make these uh, more exciting cars super chases, especially over the last year with all of these circus cars. So now my question for you is, do you guys prefer the circus cars in general as a whole or Bud more? I'm going to go with Bud just because of his like, capacity here, the substantial, he is just huge and oh, there goes the antenna, but he is a big car, he's very heavy. If you guys ever do get him, you will know what I'm talking about here because he is a very heavy die cast. So that is all now for Bud RV right here. What a great release. I know I keep saying this, but I mean, it really is a phenomenal release. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and hopefully you understand why they have the jackalope on the back here. I hope I gave a thorough enough explanation. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a suggestion video. See you guys then. Bye now.